Hey everybody! We're here as you can see at TDM 1874 out here in Yokohama. 1874. That's basically when they opened their first liquor shop, which is actually right over there. Isn't that around the time the Civil War in the States finished too? Ended? Around, I don't, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't American. know. I know they made A1 sauce in like 1862 during the middle of it. Well, either way, that over there on my right is their old liquor shop. Which is now their warehouse. Yes. Which is fine. But as you can see out here, they have some great seating, places to chill in the summertime or even if you want to freeze like us outside. In the winter. In the winter. We'll still drink out here in the winter. It keeps the beer cold. Right. Or as I say, I like to snowboard in the summer. I like to drink in the summer, winter. Anyway, shall we go on inside? I guess. Thank you for opening the door, sir. So, basically, this is the main liquor shop now. And right now, it's not bar time. Bar time starts at 5. It's such a disappointment for me. No, so such a drink. <laughs> Actually, I, I need a drink. Yeah, but for now, as you can see, they do have some seats here. They have some food. And they have a bar counter over on the on my right here. And you can see where they uh, brew all the beers there too. Ferment and whatnot. That, that place is packed full of equipment. Yeah. For the size, the yeah. Space, right? So as you can see here, here's the manager. It's out there. Introduce the manager. Say hello. <laughs> Of course, a little shy with English, that's okay. That's all right, Andrew yeah. will translate. I'll translate everything. And... Why don't you ask the background about this, the location, when it was open? So basically they opened up their other shop that we saw earlier and then this what used to be a convenience store which they basically made a new building. Yeah. So they just remodeled. Yeah. It's always been a convenience store. Yeah. So it's a great opportunity. They have a lot of space here, and it's nice and cool. So <laughs> yeah, not today's so hot. hot. Today's hot. Yeah. Today's a hot day for October. Yes. But as you can see, they also have five beers on tap. Five beers on tap. Yes. And Four of their own beers. And and we'll say for the so they why don't you yes. explain the beers. Today we have the Aki Biori, the British Best Bitter, the BBB that I've had, that's pretty good. And the Yokohama Lawn Chair, I can't re pronounce the next one, but it's like Kelsch. Kolsch. It's Legustlich Kirsch. I don't know. We're not German. So, but you can see what colors are there. And the last one's super dull. <laughs> yeah. Put it. I don't know what's coming Okay. As he's, he's asking which, which one, one he recommends. Yeah, the number one. Yes. The 6.5%. 6 6 <laughs> 30 IBUs. Kind of like an amber color. So it's good. It, Aki Biori. Aki is autumn. Biori. Uh, Aki Biori. Biori. Like a autumn feeling. Yes. Feeling okay. good. Oh, if you want to see some food. I <laughs> like how you just like, just randomly just <laughs> went to something different. <laughs> no, well, you suck as a reporter if you were a reporter. So be a reporter. Got some really cool chicken wings from Bison. Oh, that's from uh, Tottori. Bison. Bison. Tottori no. Daisen chicken, which is up in Totori, near Shimane as well. Tofu. Edamame. Hmm? Edamame. Edamame. Uh, <laughs> I didn't hear you. Chicken. Chicken, more chicken. Yakitori. Charcoal, yakitori. Pizzas. It, ichiban suki na wa? Ichiban suki na 
was his favorite food. <laughs> oh, oh wow. I've got a four liter beer tower. You want to take a look? Oh, they have like more than one. Okay. Yes. I can't fit it in the in the screen actually. That's how big it is. <laughs> That's how big Andrew wants to be. So, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so it's what four liters? Uh, four liters, five thousand yen. Regular price would have been six thousand five hundred if you bought wow. up there for glass. So if you're coming with a group. Why not, right? Yeah. I mean. Four people. Or the four liter challenge. We got a four liter challenge now. It's <laughs> getting us ready for the ten liter. Man, if I didn't have to pick up my son. It's getting hot in here. Yes. It's getting so, hot. Okay, well, this is from, this is Akita Ham. That's what they recommend at the top here. It is from, it's made in Nagoya. And it's made by a Deutsch gym. They learn, it's a German style sausage made in Nagoya. So, shall we take a look at everything else? Yeah, if, 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 if your phone doesn't say, like, I'm dying from hot, high temperature device. Some applications may be unavailable due to temperature. It just keeps saying, okay. Okay. Dude, but it's, you should get the iPhone X. Yeah, dude, I can't. I see. Uh, yeah. But anyways, right. over here, this is the recommended selection here. So if you want some good wine. Oh, no. <laughs> They have robots trying to make a move on Andrew. More sausages and cheese. You want more sausages? Have a sausage fest at home. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew knows all about that. Not really. Then you've got their beers here. They've got the pale ale and IPA on bottle here. Yeah, I'll be taking a few of those bad boys home. Yes. 520 yen for this and bottle condition. A little sediment in the bottom. Okay, so don't pour, don't so, drink from the bottle. Yeah, probably not best, but you can if you want. They've got some Shiga Kogans and we just left it up right? Yeah, just get it on pint. Yeah. Get okay. my beer. Oh, they got the say here too. All right, so, let's keep walking. Over keep here. walking. It's going to get cooler here. They yeah. Have sake here. The neon shoe. Or other people say sake. So. Uh, that's like America. Like America. China. And China. China. <laughs> sake. <laughs> but. You can read all the late. Oh, if you can read Japanese, it tells you where they're all from. How'd you can't read Japanese? I can read enough. Uh, Fukushima. I can read that. <laughs> One word out of the whole cooler. Miyagi. Ah, uh, two words. Yama. I think that's Yamagata. See, I think. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm right. I'm correct. Yamagata. Was he asking what he recommended? Yamagata. The, yes, the autumn, the autumn, uh, in the autumn, so the like autumn, the pumpkins, the, all the other 
vegetables, which I can't remember right now. Can you remember? Vegetables? Yeah. Who eats vegetables? Not you. Yeah, obviously <laughs> not. Obviously not. And then they still have a lot of stuff in the back here, as you can see. They do have a lot of stuff. Yeah. Honestly, it's a, it's a beautiful store. I mean, yes. yeah, they'll have a wide selection of a little bit of everything. Very beautiful. They've also got some stuff up top here. They've got some glasses here too. Some here. stuff. What, explain what it is. Just say some stuff, some I stuff, some really stuff. Explain it. So, 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 put, 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 not, not this guy. <laughs> so he, we're going to get the, the, the manager to explain yeah. it. Well, this is Kochi's Junmai Ginjo. <laughs> so, 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 the Ichiban Takai Sake wa Dochi desu ka? I will ask what is the most expensive one. I just want to know where it's from. Well, there's like, the, 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 the there's one that's for 3,000. It's 5,000 one. 5,000 for these big ones, but probably this one up there. Because I like the box. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Where is that from? Oh, it's from Niigata. Ah, really? Because Niigata is famous for its rice. Yep, Niigata is famous for rice and sake. It's where I go snowboarding during summer. <laughs> yes, summertime is the best time to go snowboarding. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at the other pickers or? Yeah, let's move. All right. Oh, if you want, you can also buy sake glasses or other glasses here too. Really nice. Got this nice little ceramic coco. Yeah, you know, we'll go do a word count for people who are watching. Anytime Andrew says nice, take a shot. Because Andrew said it like five times in the last three minutes. Awesome then. <laughs> there. <you> go. <laughs> we gotta help people with their drinking games, right? Yeah. How many times I call Andrew ugly, you drink a bottle. <laughs> if I wear this, not that ugly. You can get a TDM uh, polo shirt. They also have some nice, nice shirts here. Yeah, you should you should buy that from me. Yeah. Yeah, so buy it from me. This is a uh, 1900 yen. So if you want to, and the manager's sporting one too. Yep, he's he's <laughs> he's wearing a prize. Yeah. <laughs> Here. That robot is so friendly to everybody. Yes. It has green eyes. The fingers look broken. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe. Okay. Uh, we have more wine over here. Over here on my right is the whiskey, bourbon, vodka. Maybe you should, maybe you should get in. Else. Uh, this is Chotu so, so so over here. Okinawan rum here. Oh wow. Yeah, these are really nice. Oh. Drink. <laughs> yeah, drink. And then more chokushu or umeshu in the back behind me. Behind Andrew. Andrew asks, which one do you recommend? Lots of choices. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sold on this Okinawa one, though. Mm, but that's rum, not shochu. I, I just rum, Okinawa. I love rum. Don't break it, dude. I know, I have to pay for it if I do. It'd be hilarious. This is a uh, imo jochu. It's a uh, potato shochu. And basically, it's a distilled liquor made in Japan, also in Korea, and it's made from potatoes. This one's made from potatoes. You can use wheat or... Your face is made from potatoes. <laughs> he just loves making fun of me. But over here... Take a shot. We've got... We've got all the ume shoes. And... Don't break it. This one you said is really, really good. 2012 metal. Made in Miko? Yeah, Yamagata. 
This is made from Nihonshu, from sake, and it's made from a sake brewer up in Yamagata. So they're quite famous. Nihonshu makers often make umeshu as well. And if you want the very expensive wines, they're in this back cooler here. <laughs> yep, Be because <laughs> they're afraid Anthony's gonna. They, they locked it because they knew you were coming because it's such a lush. Yeah, and I'm gonna yeah. break them. I'm walking so backwards and gonna break stuff. Yeah, Run into the robot. Not. All right. So let's take a look inside. This is the wine cellar. You gonna come in? Yeah, I'm gonna come in. Oh, it's nice and cool in here. Yeah, it's nice and cool in here. They got these beautiful crates here with lots of nice, great wines. These are all the recommended wines down here. You've got some champagne. And I don't know wine very well. Sorry. New Zealand. This is a New Zealand wine made by a Japanese guy. Wow. Kimura Cellars. Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, sounds good. I'd love to try it someday. You should buy it. He said it's good. You should buy but it. But I don't drink wine. Not that much. He gets a headache. Hokkaido wine. the Kofu or Koshu. Yamanashi wine here. Hokkaido's up on the top row there. If you have any questions, you can always ask them directly. And they'll be happy to tell you which ones are the Japanese wines, which are their favorites. I didn't know Japan made that much mm -hmm. wine, actually. That was only like well, a few places. I think last weekend, Koshu had a big festival, actually for wine and they have it every year around this around where the was it first at? weekend it's um it's actually near outsider oh okay so it's out toward it's in yamanashi towards mount fuji about hour and a half so about an hour and a half from shinjuku station by express train don't take the local yeah thank you yeah, it's too far no point <laughs> And I think that's about everything in here, no? It is cold in here. It's nice. <laughs> I just don't want, I don't want to leave. <laughs> I want to stay inside. Well, that's pretty much everything. And if you're buying stuff, you just got to come over here. And I don't think we can go into the brewery right now. Not but quite yet. We'll do that later, right? Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. All right. So All right. I guess we'll finish Thank it. You, everybody. Last shot of the brewery. See you later.